Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. So we're going to be testing out Sleeping Bowl and Viper's Bite to see which gem is more powerful. Let's go. Now this kind of testing is generally something that I do behind closed doors. So whenever I swap out a legendary gem in my build, I do always test it in many ways. So I always start with the dummy to see if there's any increase in damage. I then go and do dungeon runs to see which feels stronger and obviously which comes out faster. And I do also test it in open world. So for the video today, we're gonna to be testing this at the dummy. And I'm gonna also be testing it in a speed run to see which comes out on top, which gem seems more powerful, um, which is getting me the kills faster, basically. So we'll do a 30 second burst. So here with Viper's Bite rank 10, it's given us 86.9 million damage and 2.89. So let's say 2.9 million damage per second as well. So a nice strong gem. I do like Viper's Bite. It's a really good two star gem, especially if you like damage over time. I do use it in PVP as well. I do actually use Sleeping Bowl and Viper's Bite in my build in PVP. So I thought it'd be interesting to test them out separately um, against each other as well. So you can see I have no additional gem resonance from this gem and I've got no additional gem resonance that I'm slotting into Seeping Bowl either. I wanted to keep it a fair test. So although obviously Seeping Bowl is a lower rank, it does give me an increase in resonance and damage in a few other areas as well because it is obviously a five star gem and not a two star gem. So let's now run a 30 second burst for Seeping Bowl as well and we'll see which one comes out top for damage. I'm once again running this test with my farming build and the reason for that is because this is the exact build that I will be using in the dungeon. It's not my um, strongest build and I do have to stand close to the dummy to actually register the damage from Lightning Nova. But it's going to give us an idea of the damage that we'll get in the build in the actual dungeon as well and in open world as this is the build that I'd be using it for. I could obviously stand here and do it with my highest damage build but that's not going to give us an idea of how it'll actually be working in the instance that I'm going to be testing the gem out. So unfortunately I was over by one second there, but the damage with the 2.7 million taken off is 83.4 million damage. So this is actually less damage than what we were getting from Viper's Bite, despite the fact that it is lower resonance and lower in a lot of areas as well. So we're now going to go ahead and test this out in a dungeon, but first let's take a look at what the descriptions are for both gems. Kicking off with Viper's Bite at rank 10, damaging enemies poisons them with Viper's Venom, causing them to take 45% base damage plus 120 damage every second for 6 seconds. Enemies inflicted with Viper's Venom also have their attack speed reduced by 6%. Cannot occur on the same target more often than once every 20 seconds. Seeping Bowl at rank 5, your attacks have a 4% chance to poison enemies inflicting 35% base damage plus 263 every second for 6 seconds and decreasing movement speed by 12%. The poison spreads to nearby enemies if the victim dies. Cannot affect the same target more often than once every 20 seconds. Now with Viper's Bite, it doesn't specify a percentage chance on this actually affecting enemies. Whereas with Seeping Bowl, it only has a 4% chance to poison enemies, which seems really low for a 5 star gem. Um, Viper's Bite, when I actually use this gem, I do feel like the visuals for it trigger more than the visuals for Seeping Bile. Um, so obviously when an enemy is poisoned, you can see that. You get that green kind of look to them. And um, Viper's Bite does seem to uh, trigger more, um, even though it doesn't give you a specific percentage on how often it will trigger. Uh, obviously with Seeping Bile, this isn't maxed out to rank 10. So at rank 10, it will be stronger and those percentages and numbers will increase a little bit as well. Um, so that is the description of both of them. My thoughts are that Viper's Bite is going to come out on top in the speed run as well. But let's now head to Cabin of Echoes and check this out. So to start with, a huge thank you to GameZone for putting together these side by side for me. So with these gems, I literally just filmed the first run for both of them because I wanted it to be a fair test. And I didn't want to sit here and try and run each gem over and over again. I uh, just went with literally the first attempt for both of them so that we could get a fair comparison. Um, without trying to obviously prove that one gem was better than the other. Um, so as you may have already noticed, Viper's Bite is ahead and you probably noticed that it triggered on more monsters than what Sleeping Bowl appeared to. Um, so Viper's Bite, as I said before, the visual for that is more uh, apparent than what you get with Sleeping Bowl as well. 
So it does already feel like a stronger gem and you can see in the run it's already proving to be the stronger gem as well, um, similar to how it turned out at the test dummy also. Um, so as I mentioned in PvP I do actually use both of these gems in my build just so that I have two damage over time effects. Um, I also have two burn effects in my PvP build as well. However, for um, PvE instances I'm leaning more towards using Viper's Bite in my build. It does mean that I'm slightly lower in resonance but you know what if the gem is stronger and it comes out better with your overall build then really resonance doesn't matter i've said it lots of times before it's always more important to have a good build um, and have the right gems for that build as well um, so i'm pretty sure here that viper's bite is going to win um, because we already have the boss spawned as well um, and hopefully we'll be able to take him down quite quickly so let's have a look are we going to make time yeah, so Viper's Bite is obviously, that run is complete already. Seeping Belt, we're still going, so it's already a few seconds slower than Viper's Bite. Um, so Seeping Belt, 1 minute 48, and Viper's Bite, 1 minute 36. So Viper's Bite has also come out on top in the speed run of Cavern of Echoes. So that is it from me for this video. I hope you found this comparison helpful. As always, thank you so much for watching. Let me know in the comments which gems you'd like me to test next. And for now, that's it. I'll catch you next time.